Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a bit about the balsam plant. So we have over here balsam plant which I grow at my place. So you can see that the leaves are kind of like pointy leaves, alright? And it's got pink flowers, alright? There's one over here, one balsam plant over here and the other balsam plant over here, alright? So that is when it says flower. Right below here is the is the flower bud. Okay, let me try to focus on it a bit. Alright, so this is a balsam plant, uh, the balsam fruit itself. Um, well it's a bit um, we can argue a bit whether it's a fruit or not because it doesn't really have a fruit. Um, but that is what you get after all the leaf petals have uh, fallen off okay so the unique thing about balsam plant is that it disperses its seeds through explosion okay it's one of the easiest plant uh, from my experience to grow because it can really grow by itself i don't have to really worry about uh, planting uh, sowing the seeds into uh, pots all right uh, yeah so a unique thing again about the balsam flower bud is that you can push it and it will, yes, oh, it will explode. Alright, those are the seeds and as we have learned in science, the, after it explodes, it will drop down. So, right at the base of the balsam plant or the, the, the parent plant, is the seedlings are the seedlings we have what well, let's count one two three four five and let's see whether there are any more all right there were probably a bit more last time but it doesn't really matter the point is that uh, but what i'm trying to show is that the basal plant um you know um, disperses its seeds through explosion and from what you can see over here it's not that far off from the parent plant uh, which actually doesn't have to be so okay meaning uh, this plant doesn't have to be so far away from the parent plant because the parent plant once you know uh, it's reached some maturity it will just die off okay uh, yeah so the new ones will just grow and replace uh, where the parent plant uh, were originally at okay so um, well, I have only this small piece of uh, plot of soil for the balsam plant uh, to grow and disperse its seeds. As you can see, this in the as we have seen earlier, the seeds the seeds disperse by explosion. So probably some of the seeds would have actually even fallen off all the way to the ground level, right? I'm sure if we give it some time, uh, we would have a couple of balsam seeds, uh, balsam plants uh, at the ground level growing, inshallah. Okay, so once again, let's have a thorough look at the balsam plant. Anyway, uh, in Malay, it's called Kembong. Alright, it's a very easy plant to grow. It's got long, and I would say. Um, spiky looking leaves although they are not sharp All right from the stem you can see that it's quite a thick stem it's almost the size of my finger yeah so there is a hint that uh, it's quite a water loving or water hungry plant yeah so be sure to give it enough water to, uh, for it to stay to, to, to survive yeah but other than that, it's, a, it's, it's an easy plant to take care of. It grows by itself, it uh, reproduces by itself, and that will mean that you will constantly have this uh, bunch of plants with cute, with cute uh, pink flowers um, all year round, inshallah. Yeah? So there we have it, a simple a short video just to show you about the basan plant and a short demonstration about uh, seed dispersal through um, explosion okay so thank you for watching this video inshallah i will 
shoot more videos of the plants that I have around my home garden. Thank you. If you love my video, you may want to click like or subscribe to the video to my channel, inshallah. Thank you so much.